Today we will have two Norwegians from an organization called Young Chambers International uh, to shadow Amelia for, for all of the day and for half of tomorrow, I think. Mattias, uh, jag, har, jag har inte hittat er så jag tänkte att ringa kanske är bästa sättet, om ni är vid ingången. Men ska vi se, är du in eller är du utanför? Hur, vilken sida definierar du som baksidan? So this is our office. Hi. This is Julian, my colleague. Hello. Who's been here from nice from the start here. with me? Hello. Alma. Julian, nice to meet you. And then we have uh, Ulf, who's not here. And then we have our two residents, Felipe and Christian. Uh, so okay. the first thing that comes to hand now is that we go to lunch with my sister and her husband. Okay. Because they are here to visit me under the week. And then I have to read an email and call another thing. Uh, now. Ja, han är det. Uh, just tack så mycket. Okej, okay, thank you. Hej. Okej. Okay. Ska du också starta mig? Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Okej. Okay. Ni får sitta ner om ni vill. Tack för. Jag ska vara helt säker på att det är så roligt att stå där. Det är jag. It was uh, very interesting, very dynamic, not uh, what I expected. I expected us to be sitting in a meetings all day long, but uh, her day yesterday was very dynamic. She had plenty of things to do. We practically had to run up to her. She was very smart at all the meetings, but also very cool. And I expected MEP to be more, um, how to say it, grey. Why are we going to minus? Aren't we going to minus one? No, one. Why are we going to one? Uh, this is the video department, Voxbox. You said minus one. No, I said one Q70. One Q70? Yes. Okay. Fine. There is no one here. Yeah, that makes it a problem. <laughs> it should be minus one because okay. it's um, all the other things that is minus one or at minus two. Yeah. Skulle vi inte till ett sjutti? Jo, men sen så var det ju The entire corridor is like odd numbers. <laughs> Hi. You basically stand behind the blue line and uh, welcome people to the visitor center. I don't know if you have uh, heard a little bit what the video is supposed to. Yes. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. So it's not supposed to be too long, less than a minute. Mm -hmm. And uh, in your mother language, yes. And uh, and that's it. If you can just before starting and at the end, just keep a few seconds, two three seconds, looking inside the camera so that we can cut. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much. Ronny. Hej och välkomna till parlamentets parlamentarier. Här kan du se hur Europa parlamentet arbetar fram nya lagförslag för Europeiska unionen varje dag. Jag jobbar med informationspolitiska förslag, mycket i materialrätt och telekommunikationspolitik och jag försöker garantera medborgarnas rätt 
att kommunicera på ett sätt som de själva tycker känns bra och naturligt. Okay, so that's it. Now we are going to intercommittee to see what Emilia is doing there and it's probably going to be very exciting like it was yesterday. Opprørsparti som er for fri nedlasting av data. Men når du setter deg inn i hva partiet står for og leser litt mer om det, så skjønner du at det ikke bare er en gruppe mennesker som ønsker gratis programvare, men det er på en måte en ideologi og en tanke som er videre. Det går på åndsverklov, det går på copyright, det går på hvordan data skal oppbevares, rett til å kommunisere. De jobber for en rekke viktige saker som ikke har fått nok, blitt belyst nok i media. Har det vært educasjonalt? Det har vært veldig educasjonalt. Ja. Det har vært veldig interessant, og det har vært ikke noe som jeg har vært ekspertet, men det har vært fun. Takk for din støtte, ung mann. Ja. Eller, i hvert fall, jeg tror at du har vært.